Hello, fellow questers. It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. So today I have this awesome, thrilling, well, great book in general book. Ugly and me. Three wonder stories from the number one New York Times bestselling author of Wonder, R.J. Palacio, and of course, a sequel of Wonder. Ogie and Me, such a great book, and yet so completely different to Wonder. It shows three stories, three stories from three main characters in Wonder. The first chapter is the Julian chapter. Julian, who was thought to be the phantom bully, the very evil person in Wonder, the main agnetizer, he will, he, he's it's his perspective of like everything. Julian, he was angry. Every time that he got hurt because of Uggy or he bullied Uggy and he got into trouble, his mother and father bailed him out. But Julian, Julian, my dude, he never thought that it was really his fault. Well, sometimes he felt a little bit of glimmering guilt. But, well, it really, it was so little that most people could see that he seemed to feel no remorse from doing all those mean things to Uggy. And in this, in the story, Julian chapter, Jul Julian, when he goes to his grandmother's house, who is French, she tells, of, tells her, tells Julian about his namesake, the original Julian was his father, but what was his father's namesake? Well, it was about a boy who had been crippled and everyone was scared to touch or talk to. But, and when the Nazis invaded France, many, most of the Jews had to be captured and her grand, and well, Grandmere was one of them. And Grandmere, knowing that she would be captured, had ran away and hid inside the top of the school. And then, and then our dear, the original Julian, the crippled, grabbed her and hushed down the sewers and rescued her from being captured and sent to, I don't know, they're probably going to be treated like slaves or killed or sometimes fate even worse than death. And she was rescued, and she had lived like that in a barn for many days. And Julian had been kind to her, even though she had not been kind to him. And she cried a lot. She knew that Julian had saved her life, and yet she was so mean to him. When Julian heard this, heard this story, he was horrified. The, Julia, the namesake, Julian, he used to be someone like Uggy. But he had helped the ones that he had been bullied by. And Julian thought that, thought that he was the opposite. He was evil. He was the one who bullied Uggy. And he felt true remorse then. And that guy, he sent an apology letter through email to Uggy. And they reconciled and they were cool. That's the end of the Julian chapter. Pluto is on the perspective of Christopher, who thinks that uh, the Pullman family had gotten too much help from his family and that it was getting annoying for his personal life. At least, I think it is. And, and one day, he had forgotten three essential things that he needed for school at home. And it was raining and there's construction everywhere, so basically, it sucked. It was so slow on the war. The traffic was so slow. And he told his mother to get it fast as possible. And his mother, who was so speeding and she had to go fast and she was panicking, she got into a car crash and she had gotten a cast. And in this story, Christopher finds out that, well, how do you say? That Uggy Pullman 
wasn't the cause of every misery in his life. And in Shingling, it looks in the point of view of our dear Charlotte. And wonder, I have never liked Charlotte. She seemed to be a goody two shoes, and she really wasn't much of a character. But in but in Shingling, we find out what kind of character she truly is. She finds this old man, and his they they call him the man who plays on may on the street. He's probably homeless, but he isn't. She soon finds out, and she goes there. And always she would give a dollar to him every day in a habit, and he would say, "God bless America." And Charlotte, she, well, she was very surprised and she was very shocked when that old man disappeared one day. And she just wasn't there anymore in the winter. Later on, to her relief, she finds out that he had been fine, that he had gone to stay with his daughter in a nice warm house in the winter. Charlotte, in this book, makes friends with Zimena, one of the most I'm sorry if I hadn't pronounced it, pronounced, pronounced that right, okay? Like Zimena, I don't know how to pronounce it otherwise. I'm just gonna say Zimena. So Zimena and Summer, she became really good friends with them, and she teaches Zimena a lesson that Zimena needs to be well, way nicer to everyone else. And the book ends with Charlotte have having a happy ending. Because all this, well, rubbish, but in the end, so, it find, she finds out that Gordy Johansson, the accordion man who had been playing on main, who had been playing on the street, but had disappeared, had come back. And with a classic, she reached into his po her pocket, pulled out a dollar bill, and dropped it into his accordion case. Swoosh. And Gordy Johnson would always say, God bless America. And that is the end of the book, Uggy and Me. It is a really great book, and it I think it shows three new perspectives in Uggy's story. For example, always I thought Julian was like a supervillain. And Christopher was just a side side character that just lingered in the background. I thought Charlotte was a stuck-up, annoying character who wasn't bad to Uggy in front of the teachers, but is never good, that good to him when the teachers aren't around. But now I find out that each of them is a character, and they feel, and they are a person. And it's really well written, and it's like he's talking about real people. Maybe he is. Maybe this book is based on a reality. But in any way, it's a great book, guys, and you have to read it. And like always, a bookquester and a bookquester.